So did you want to get your email alerts working from inside NinjaTrader 8 with Gmail? Here's a high level overview of what you need to do and then we'll take it step by step going into more details uh, later on in this video. So since NinjaTrader 8 will not accept Gmail passwords, you need to create application passwords with NinjaTrader 8. If you're using your existing Gmail password, it will never work for you. To create a Gmail application password, we need to go into your Google My Account settings and make your way to the security section. Turn on your double authentication if it isn't already and below that option you'll see the place to set up application passwords. If you don't see the place or application passwords, your double authentication isn't on and that has to be on first in order for this to work. Select on app passwords and set up a password called NinjaTrader8. The name here doesn't really matter as long as it's obvious to what you're going to be using it for. Use this password and the settings in the description to connect to your NT8 and you'll be able to successfully run a test message and you'll see it come through. Now let's take a more detailed look. NinjaTrader 8 requires you to use Google application passwords to access your Gmail and not to actually use Gmail passwords, okay? So further, your username is not gonna be your full Gmail address in NinjaTrader 8, okay? These are gonna be the most two common mistakes. So in order to do this, you'll need to go into your My Accounts Manager in Google and then go into your Sign In and Security. Okay, if you scroll down, you're gonna to have to look for two-step verification. If you have this enabled, you're allowed to skip to the next step and we'll go right uh, into setting your application passwords. For those of you that don't have it enabled, we're gonna to have to spend a second to set up your two-step authentication. So you're gonna to have to, to do this. It's not really a choice if you want your app passwords to work. To set up the two-step verification, click on the words and it will actually explain to you why it's a good idea to be using this for protecting your security. And now click on the get started and enter in your password. Okay, this is just gonna verify that it is in fact you. Okay, it's important that your phone number on this next screen is right because Google's now gonna call you or send you a text message to validate your phone number and to verify that it's you. Okay, so click on try it. I chose text mess a text message and you can click try it and get the message uh, or call to verify yourself and enter in that code that they gave you through the text message and click next. Okay, you can now click on the button that says turn on and it will activate your two-step verification. So what this is gonna mean is basically you're gonna get a verified text when you try to log into Gmail to just give you another sort of step of, of authentication to verify that it is you and not somebody else trying to get into your Gmail account. At the top left, go to the arrow and go back, okay? And you'll go back to your security page. Go down to where you saw two-step authentication before and it will be on now, okay? Now look what's below and it, it should read app passwords, okay? This is where you're gonna be clicking this option and selecting underneath the dropdown to select an app and then you're gonna pick other. Type in the name, and this can be anything just to identify the password with NinjaTrader 8, and write down the generate security code so you can still see it and know what it is after hitting next. Uh, finally, hit done. Okay, that's it. Now we can go back into, into NinjaTrader 8 and go into your control center and go to tools and options. Okay, look underneath the categories and go to general and then preferences. Now select shared services, okay? We put a link in the description with an updated article that has all the text for these settings, uh, but otherwise feel free to type them in as we go along like this, okay? So for the service name, we're just gonna use Gmail. Uh, the connection server has to be exactly like this, no spaces, smtp.gmail.com, okay? And with the connection port, it has to be 587. Okay, the default and SSL need to both be checked. And for your email address, you're gonna use your full address. So for this example, I'll use xabcdtrading at gmail.com. Now for the username, 
enter in just the first part, which is XABCD trading. There is no at gmail.com. If you put that in there, it will not work as part of the username. And then finally, for the password, you're going to put in that at password that we generated. So if you can't remember what it was or didn't write it down, you got to go back and create it again and generate a new one and use that password here. Okay, congrats. You can now basically run your test uh, message. And if you need any assistance, feel free to put a comment below or grab us on our live chat on our website, xabcdtrading.com. Also, there is a link in the description for written instructions if you'd rather have those as well. Now, don't forget to like this video and of course, subscribe. There are two other indicators uh, that are free to download. One of them draws a price line across your screen at current price for both the bid and the ask lines. And the other one's gonna draw economic news events on your chart so you can see when news is coming up. Okay, uh, both of these are free downloads, so feel free to watch them and uh, watch one of these videos and you can always download them in the description below. Uh, otherwise, you might want to subscribe because we do uh, put out updates for these indicators and if you want to know when the updates are coming out, uh, that would be one great way of finding out. So if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us, xabcdtrading.com.